Hello everyone, good morning. Um, Nani here again. Uh, happy Thursday. So, weird stuff this morning. Um, when you logged in first thing this morning, you probably saw that all the spring rabbit tokens that you had in storage uh, converted over to Tea Party token. Um, so, we have like four spring festivals and Tea Party is one of them. Spring Tea Party. So, I'm I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that's what we're getting this year for spring. So um, this here is what was required for that spring tea party last time. No guarantee it's going to be the same because this festival, they do change this one up a lot. Um, so that's what we needed last time. Milk, flour, lemon, and mango. And um, I kind of remember this being a really easy fest. So I'm going to take the, the thread I had from prior years in my group, and I'm just going to kind of walk through it um, so you can see what that was all about. So this is kind of the center of the festival island. Um, only five to travel to the festival. Um, it was a 21-day festival, and we did get a daily gift every day and that's what we got six milk eight mango three lemons and three flour in the daily gift and um, you will have to do initial setup of the island to get the daily gift let me click on some of this so collect the unusual ingredients which you will find all on the festival island um, you got to make cook up some treats then give it to the uh, tables. You're going to set tables. Let's see. And then, oh, I'll show you guys about this little hat. It took us a while to figure that one out last time. You're going to have keys to open an area that give you extra stuff. And then you can see the tokens, the spring rabbit token is what we had at the tea party last time. And um, they may be changing up how they how they count the points or something. I hope not because it was really great last time, but we now have the tea party token, the teacup instead of the rabbit as the little coin. All right, let's see. So I really liked this. Leveling up was 500. I really hope they don't change that. That was so great. Um, I don't know, I got a gut feeling that's what they're changing, but I hope not. 500 for each level, from level 1 all the way up to level 29, it was still 500. I hope they keep that. So, that may be what the change is that's coming now. I hope not. So, you can see what the average gift was um, for each level up. Little tea party, spring tea party. And it was the same for level 30 as it was for, you know, level 2. Um, so on the festival island, you'll be collecting the little eggs that get hidden and the little baskets that get hidden and the bigger baskets. And um, it's points, a point thing. So you'll get these a lot faster than you'll get these right here. All right, let me just keep walking down. So the gist is you cook up these little cups of tea, and that's what you need for this particular one. And this um, special ingredient you'll get on the island, and we'll get to that one. Um, you cook it up, and then you set the table, and they will hide little eggs. And these are the single egg thing. So the one that requires mango is the easy one and um, quickest. And that one is going onto the small table. Alrighty, let's get down here. All right, the medium tea table. This one requires milk and flour. And that ingredient, which is also coming off of the festival island, this one takes a little longer. This is 25 minutes to cook up what you need. And then when you um, set the table, it also takes longer, but it does give more tokens. So depending on what you're cooking, um, you'll level it faster. Here's the large table. 
and that's what you need for that. So you need two special ingredients plus lemons for that one. And that one looks like three and a half or four hours. We'll have to verify the times once we get it. Um, and 125 tokens for that large table. Of course, it takes longer. Um, got this little area in the back. You know what? I'm going to jump forward. No, I'm not. And I hate to make you guys watch me scroll. Okay, I paused and scrolled. The large table is a five-hour timer. The medium table is a one-hour timer. And the small table is a 30-minute timer. All right, cooking. That's what I wanted to scroll forward to. All right, it, the cooking is done in this little tent that you will find at the front of the festival island. And there's the cooking information. So it's 15 minutes, 25 minutes, and 45 minutes for the um, items that will go onto the table. So you'll be wanting to do this first. I wish I had a spot up at the top to put this in. Um, but that's it. You're going to cook in this little tent right there. All right, ingredients you will need. Um, you're going to be harvesting off these cotton candy trees, and those have a three-hour timer. And you'll have to get in there and fight that little sundew. I thought I had opened all these. Um, the sundew is a two-and-a-half-hour timer to come back and fight that. But they're real small. Let me get back. Here is the sundew information. There are only 35 health, and there are two of them. Here's one there and one there, and you'll have to fight them um, to collect off these cotton candy trees. So you see this one is done here, so it would trigger these three trees and not these. So when you fight this one over here, then it triggers these trees right there. Next is the hibiscus tree, and they are on a five-hour timer for hibiscus. Cat, cat is uh, chomping behind me. All right. These pixie trees, a uh, three-hour timer. Now, I left notes over here from members in the group. Thank you, members. Um, these trees are triggered with 750 coins and you can re-harvest them after that and they are um, again they are on a three hour timer okay here is the entire island and you can see down here the three small tables and then you have two medium tables there and there and then the one large table okay so all right the hibiscus flowers are back here those uh, trees that take the coins, there's two right there and then two more right here. And then, of course, you can see the cotton candy puffs back there, the trees uh, for cotton candy. All right, so this area in the back is like a really special area. It's high points. I hope they don't um, change that because everybody loved that. And there's a little rabbit hole. You can see it right there. And you need a key to... Um, get in there. So the way you get the key, let's see, I'm having to go back through my notes. Um, these little flower clocks right here. And there are a two hour timer and there's a bunch. Let me see. Oh, all right. Well, there's a chest. Let's see if I can see them all. There's one right here, one right there, one right there, one over here. There's five of them and then one over here. So, just a minute, let me pause and find the notes. Okay, couldn't find my notes. Um, all right, the bunny gate timer has a three hour timer on it. Um, you will not, you will need a key to get in there and you get the key by clicking on the clocks that are on a two hour timer. Um, so, couldn't find the notes, but I remember, I think I may have accidentally deleted them this morning, or I'm just scrolling too fast. Anyway, here are our, all the clocks. You click on them each round, and what we found last time was every fourth to fifth round, 
Um, so roughly every eight to ten hours you'll get a key. So you are not going to get a, a key every time you click through all of these and um, obviously you get more keys overall if you're clicking every two hours. Um, if you can't do that then I mean you can't but that's how you open the bunny gate up here is to go through and click all these clocks, all these little watches, and to get a key. So um, what we found last time was people were frustrated because they'd come through and click and wouldn't get a key, but I mean it's just if you can come back each time these are ready to be clicked, you're more likely to get a key. And again, it's going to be every fourth or fifth time coming through here and doing this um, according to the notes that we had from last time. Okay, so after you get that little bunny house open, here's what's back here. Here's the bunny house. And here's why this is so great. I mean, it's just these egg baskets are all over the place. Um, you can see them in here. And it is just, uh, it was a lot of points. Lots of points. Um, I'm sure I have that note somewhere. I'll try and get that in the comments if I can find that. Um, but that's why you want the key. So try to come back, you know. Um, every couple of hours and click on click on these watch thingies and, and get those keys because that will really help you level up. Hopefully they don't change that part. This was a great part that everybody loved. Okay, the other crazy thing on this festival island that uh, took, took us um, some time to figure it out, and um, thank you Lenora, I remember you were the first one, one to uh, post that there's this weird thing there. So it's this little hat, you can see it there. And if you can find that, then you get some of these ingredients that uh, are actually on timers on the island. So that, that's really helpful. Um, we've got a map here. These are the five locations they will show up. You can see that. And there are some notes that they were showing up in a specific order. Um, oh, here we go. There they are. These are the places that you will find these little hats, and you want to click on the hat to get yourself some extra special ingredients. Um, notes in here, hats appear after seven hours, um, or af seven hours after you have clicked the previous one. So again, it's, you know, the more often you click on there, the um, more often you're going to get something. All right, I got a video, so I'm going to push play. Can I get it bigger? Here it is, right there. See it? Sparkly. Very hard to see. And you click it and you get a bunch of stuff. So, yay. You want to do that. Okay, scrolling through. Um, I found the post. Thank you, Deb Jordan. 510 points in that back section there. Um, so there is that, 510 points. I hope they don't change that. All right, let's look at the shop. And I am afraid I missed a page from the shop. I don't think this is uh, the correct page one. I'm pretty sure it's not, um, but this is a page. So there's one of them right there. So let's look at this one these things and what level they open up. All right, and this will be the same page as that. Gives you an idea what those things are costing. Alrighty. Shop page three. Somehow I messed up my shops, my shop pages. Um, there you go. Get those things for your home island if you uh, get the points. Let me get the levels these open up at right there. Um, and then, of course, we always get florins available. Looks like that amethyst was on a three-day timer. All right, there again is the bronze chest that we found hidden on the festival island. All right, Deb posted some pictures so we could see how big things were on the home island for a few of these things. There you go, you can see that on the home island. What is this little thing? Little tea cart, it looks like. That's cute. 
All right, and I'll end with that. Um, okay, there you go. Make some milk flour, lemon, and mango, and hopefully they didn't change that so we know what's coming. Um, but, you know, but what I said before, this festival will change up. It changes up something every year. So uh, be prepared for it not being exactly what I just showed you. But hopefully this will give some of you guys a heads up. All right. Um, happy Thursday. Um, if you're in Texas, again, once again, we are waiting on a big storm. So stay safe. And don't forget to like and share and follow my channel. And I'll talk to you guys soon. I also will try to get to um, that purple wolf island um i'm not actually doing that so i'm gonna have to go through that thread and see if i can get a map and i'll also try and get to florin either today or tomorrow all right you guys have a great day happy thursday talk to you soon bye